So what we're gonna be doing, well, what I'm gonna be doing is uh, Tomb Raider, Tomb Raider 2013. I really enjoy this game, um, and just because I want to get through it today, uh, we're also gonna be watching cutscenes. I'm just gonna do it on easy. Today is literally just like a fuck around day. I really love this game. I, 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 I unironically enjoy the Tomb Raider reboot trilogy. And uh, I'll probably end up playing all of them on stream at some point. And yes, we are watching cutscenes. Also, no overhead light because it is a cozy stream. There were a lot of people that didn't like this. There are a lot of people that were like, Oh man, it's just a, it's just a, uh, Uncharted clone. And like, Tomb Raider did it first. Um, so really, Uncharted is a clone of Tomb Raider. Death porn isn't how many fucking unique death animations this game has. Just a strange thing to put so much polish on. I mean... Okay, yeah, that's fair. Uh, I saw an interview with the voice actress for Lara in these games. She was like, I had to make a lot of different death sounds. Uh, and they would describe to her what was happening when Laura was dying in that instance. I think there's 14 minutes or so of unique death animation. Is there? Oh my god, I never paid attention to that. Well, they wanted this one to be like a little bit more realistic, I think, right? Like more... You know, because the OG Tomb Raiders, which I do own, uh, I will eventually play those probably, um, are, uh, are very comical. They're more parody. They're more, they're more cartoony, the other Tomb Raiders. Well, yeah, this isn't Laura Croft as we know her from the original games, because this is Laura... Lara before getting becoming the Tomb Raider. This is like her Tomb Raider becoming of trilogy. I like the story. I like the story and the gameplay and what they decided to do with Lara and give like a fresh take on it. I really love this trilogy. <laughs> I think of it like multiverse theory, basically, is that this is this is just a different universe Lara. Oh, yeah, this Lara is from another universe. So you've got OG Lara and then you've got 2013 Lara. Both equally great in their own ways. Yeah, I honestly I, I do prefer new games over reboots. I just really enjoy this re the, this reboot trilogy. I don't I don't know how to explain it. I just like it. It gets the goopy video game goblin in my brain happy. Yeah, I I I look. I didn't know that there were that many death um death animations by the way. Uh I've always played this game on easy or normal. Uh but uh, I do have a file that I'm working through right now that is uh, on hard mode, and let me tell you, that's fucking frustrating. I, I'm, I'm in a death loop right now. Uh, the other reason why I played this game is because I'm here to spread the propaganda that this is just a lesbian love story. Yeah. I... I don't know. I, I like I like the greedy concept of being like, okay, well, how did she finally? How did she get to become this rich eccentric woman that's just like, let me just fucking spend my money going on these adventures for thrills, you know? That's how I saw it. And like, you eventually get to that point in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, but like, the world's ending. <laughs> I, well, okay, alright, here's the thing, here's the thing, I, I don't, I enjoy these games, but I will not ignore their faults, because let me fucking tell you something, Laura, Lara, 
ends up having this fucking wound and starts walking through poop water and bloody water. How is her fucking side not infected already, bro? Realistically, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> okay, so here comes the part that I was talking about. Um, I am one of those people that's a part of the conspiracy that this entire game is just a big old gay love story. Because Laura goes out of her way to consistently go and get Sam. They have cute nicknames for each other. And, I don't know, just this whole thing, like, say, like, Laura is screaming Sam's name for a majority of this fucking game. You can't tell me that there wasn't subtext. I'm not just saying this to make and Sam friends. Bro, I'm going to point it out through this entire playthrough, by the way, Spidey. I will point it out and be like, that's hella gay, that's hella gay. <laughs> <laughs> I came here to raid tombs and murder, and I'm all out of tombs. Yeah. Dude, we're almost at the end of 2021. We are one week away from 2022. 2022 is on Saturday. Like, that's fucking... Uh, I think Skyrim was released in 2012. So almost 10 years ago. Yeah, for fucking real, Spidey. That's how- yeah, fucking feeling that. Okay, so it's, uh, yeah, it is 10 years old, Skyrim. Yeah, we- we went into 2020. Like, like, 2019 finished. We got into 2020, and now it's almost 2022. It's like, wait a minute, what the fuck happened? Okay, now we're walking in the poop water with that open wound. Yeah. Yeah, like, that is, a that is a through-and-through open wound that we're just getting all sorts of bacteria in right now. Talking about the good boys, which are not in my room right now. The good boys aren't in my room. Let me go find one. Hold up. Alright, hold up. We have to pause the entire stream. A few moments later. There we go. I got him. I got great. He's been demanding snugs all day. I basically spent a good chunk of uh, my afternoon slash morning cuddling with him because of his demands. Did you get that? He he is still in my lap, just as an FYI. He's still here. It's 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 because Lara trusts Sam's their girlfriends. Like they look, man. Let me fucking tell you something. This is like I am of the conspiracy. This is just one big love story. Okay. Yeah. See, Spidey gets it. You see that emotion that Laura, that, what she loves telling this story. Like they're gay for each other. I will die on that hill. Yeah, they kept Jonah, but they didn't keep Sam. Okay, so here's the thing: they explain that Sam, something ends up happening to Sam in between this game and Rise of the Tomb Raider, and there's a series. There's like a comic book series. That they uh, that they made to explain where Sam goes, and she ends up in jail for something. Yeah, she she either gets kidnapped again, or she ends up in jail, or like a psych ward. One of the two. God, the Matrix is such. I don't I don't understand people's obsession with the Matrix. I'm gonna be real. I don't think it's the greatest movie trilogy, well, movie in the world, or as, as deep as people make it out to be. I don't, I don't think that's how that works, Raze. So also, how is she able to fucking stand on her leg after that? W were those, like, steel ankle boots? I don't, I don't, I don't think the first Matrix movie is as great as I don't think it is. That's just, that's just me. 
It's like, why is there a matrix? There, it doesn't make sense to have a matrix when you just have people in vats. It's all coming back when you get to Roth. We'll find Sam and this Matthias guy. Maybe, maybe, maybe I just need to watch rewatch the first one. I, I, I could probably do that tonight. Re sit down, actually rewatch the first one, and see what I think about it. Um, now, because I watched it when I was younger, and I was like, I, this is so stupid. Why do people hold this up in such high regard? Uh, I heard mixed things about four. Uh, I heard people did not like it. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, shit. I was choking on my drink. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not trying to cause death porn. <laughs> Toy Story 3 had such a good stopping point. Like, I can't. I can't watch Toy Story 4. It, I, it would feel wrong to watch in my eyes don't get me wrong i'm sure it's a great movie like it's a good movie god what the fuck why is it so hard to get a headshot sir i need you to die yeah i mean at the same time like Eventually, she's going to kill enough people that she gets desensitized to the killing. So, like, that first initial kill will be traumatizing. But, so, like, it makes sense to have it that way. Yeah, the first kill is always the hardest. Like, it, it makes sense that she's going to be traumatized by that first kill and then not be traumatized anymore because she, it's all she's doing. You know, it makes sense for her character. It makes sense for anyone's character. Like, if you're not traumatized by your very first kill, like, you're a- You a psychopath. Like, imagine if she killed someone and didn't feel a goddamn thing about it. You know, like, it just doesn't- it, that, that would make less sense than her being traumatized by one kill and then becoming a murder machine, you know? And then it'll be a great time playing through the the, tw the 2013 reboot games the reboot trilogy oh no until it crashes on me are you fucking kidding me <sighs> all, right. all right i see how it is close the program one second we'll get this back up game fucking crashed i know i was being so nice to the game Stroking its ego, being like, hell yeah, I fucking love Tomb Raider 2013. Such a great game, and it this is how it treats me. That's fine, I see how it is. Yeah, you're in the spirit of it, Aura. <laughs> uh, you're now a part of the gospel. My my guy, the, the congregation that Tomb Raider 2013 is hella gay. So many years, here. Oh, that was a sick ass headshot, bro. Yeah, don't fuck with me. I'm Laura Croft. God, f what the fuck? What? Where did that even come from? God damn it, that was a little too hard for no, absolutely no fucking reason. I was trying to do good aura, okay? I'm doing my best. I'm doing the best that I can over here, man. Sometimes the game mechanics just aren't 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 the way that you want them to be. I'll dodge machine gun fire if I feel like it. Yeah, not mentioning that there's armed people, a possible god. Etc. Etc. There's a lot of things she doesn't mention. We're going to light a place on fire. Let's go to the palace and light it on fire. Woo! Kaboom! One way in, no way out. No one leaves. <laughs> I put it on easy so I wouldn't die as much, and here I am still dying too much. Mind you, the one thing that I will say that kind of sucks about the Tomb Raider tri the reboot trilogy is that it, it it's the same formula three times over. 
although they do kind of expand on it a little bit more in Rise and uh, Shadow, where the gameplay mechanics are just ever so slightly different, but it still feels fun to play. Honestly, I'm I'm on a pretty good pace with this game, even with the uh, did uh did or is is Aura still watching or uh, is he committed to leaving because uh, Lara said she didn't like tombs? I'm gonna be like this motherfucker was it's taken fucking. Whoa! What? Did he just fly over me? What the fuck? Yeah, no. Lara said that she hated tombs and and Aura dipped. <laughs> he was like, I'm out. <laughs> I don't know if he was joking or not. Um, yeah, Brister got me uh, Horizon Zero Dawn for Christmas. Um, so I've been playing through that um, offline. Uh, I've been enjoying it. Uh, I like the story. Uh, I'm just stuck in on death loop right now that I need to get over. This is a beautiful love story. Go save your print. Go save your queen, Lara. Yes. Um, it is. And hey, don't you don't judge me and my love of a good story that is clearly a love story. I'm just saying, you can't deny it. By the way, I fucking hate Shanty Town. Shanty Town is so boring to get through. It's just an onslaught of enemies for no fucking reason. Fucking get Stormtrooper aim. What the fuck? Point blank shotgun blast and this motherfucker isn't going down. Fuck off. Are we done? Alright, good. Fuck off. God damn it. Sometimes this game can make me so tilted, though. Like, I enjoy it, but moments like these where it's like, okay, I am on the easiest fucking setting. How? Fucking how? Point blank headshot doesn't even fucking flinch. Fucking stupid. Fucking kidding me. Oh, wow. Good. Cool. Even, even, even aiming into the right area just completely fucked it. Good job, Lara. Bullshit, sniping ass, motherfuckers that should not be able to hit me the way that they are. Now kick them off the edge. Take him with you, Grim. Take him with you. Grim goes out like a badass. I will say that. It does, but I can't stealth in this section. <laughs> the guys that have the fucking machine guns are the worst. They are too overpowered. Especially when they're like, yeah, let's put fucking armor on them. Yes. Fucking die. Sections. I wasn't even brute forcing it that time. Fuck. There's no reason for the difficulty to spike like this. Yeah, like I'm getting fucking bombarded not only by shotguns, but also by jackasses that are like, hey, let me, like... 
just come at you full force with also a shotgun and a fucking assault rifle all at the same time because that's fucking fair. How is that fair? How? This might just be a one-off now. Fuck this. I was going to finish this today, but since the game doesn't seem to understand the concept of fairness, I'm done. Nope. I'm done. I'm not doing this. Fuck that. We're, we're going to have another rage quit stream because apparently Squeenix doesn't know how to fucking make a game. I do not remember this. <laughs> Let me reiterate that this is on easy. You, you don't build a game like this. You don't go from, okay, so you're on easy, right? Well, now it's going to feel like you're playing hard because we really want to fuck you in the ass during this very epic portion of the game. Fine, we'll change, we'll change up the tactic. Oh, wow, headshot. Didn't go down. Another headshot. Didn't go down. Oh, good, now he goes down. One headshot. Didn't go down. Yeah, remove bullshit difficulty curves. Like, why? Why would you do that? It, it, it doesn't make the game more enjoyable. It makes it less fucking fun. Because like I said, I do not remember this being this way. How is that fair? Comes up on me and blaze in a fucking clip. I walk up to one of them, lay a clip in them, and then I have to reload and lay in another clip. It's not, it's not well-designed combat. This is bullshit. And again, let's, let's, let's go to gameplay options real quick. Why is the combat difficulty on hard? This should be on easy. What the fuck? You guys saw when I started this game that it was on easy. Because I started this out on easy, so it shouldn't have changed the difficulty suddenly. What the fuck? I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I'm checked. I checked, but boy am I fucking pissed that I checked. Okay, cool. Although, yeah, yeah, every so often, Lara... Thank you for the posture check, Winston. Every so often, Lara will make, like, a shocked sound about, like, the murder that she's just committed. And, like, that's where I'll be like, girl, we've been murdering people this entire time. Why are you suddenly upset about it? Popping a hole in your Sam theory? Hey, hey! Alex dies. My Sam theory still is acceptable. That was a pity kiss, by the way. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. I also have a Twitter. <laughs> You know, just destroying monasteries, eh? We're just, we're just doing a great thing. I, as someone that's an archaeologist, you know, the first rule of archaeology is to make sure that you, uh, you completely destroy the sites that, in, uh, that you're enjoying. You ever notice that? Like, Lara basically destroys almost every area she's in. Like, all of this structure. Oh, uh, shit. Like, all of these structures that she's just blowing up. You see that, like, tunnel going on up there? Big ol' Oh shit, we're about to see a portal in the sky! I did that to myself. I tried. I tried to get out of it. Now that I'm thinking about it, I wonder what, like, the psychological damage was 
of this whole situation on Sam. Because, like, that could fuck a person up, you know? Like, that just doesn't, like, which makes sense as to, like, why she either ends up in prison or, uh, ends up in a psych ward. Alright, we got one more dude to deal with and be pretty quick to deal with him. Should be pretty quick to deal with him. I, I don't want to feign his last words myself. No! No! Fuck. Oh, oh, we're doing the beat down. Okay, all right. We're so close. We just have to deal with Matthias now. Oh, give me the satisfaction. Give me a slow-mo headshot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Many, many deaths later. Unnecessary deaths later. Because the game was like, hey, let's boost you to hard now. I mean, bullshit. Yeah, put- get her away from Sam, Lara. Hell yeah. Oh my god, because Lara's her knight in shining armor, the power of gay love turned out to be a greater power. Exactly. They, like, are you- How? How can you pe- how can people not see the subtext in this? <laughs> Yeah, because we've got another game coming, uh, and then we've got- So after this is Rise of the Tomb Raider, and then after that is Shadow of the Tomb Raider. But the whole point of this one is it's, you know, Lara's... You know, Lara's journey to becoming the Tomb Raider, if you will. I- I enjoy this game, except for the fact that this playthrough, it was like, Hey, you were playing too well, we're gonna boost you to hard mode combat-wise, fuck you. Uh... Have a good evening, everyone. Bye.